you queer cats are tone setters The same reason my main legion are wrong with us With long cheddar, mixed with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The South stays, about that Beretta clapping Lines balanced with Head on over to Spotify and all other streaming platforms. Check out the No Mercy TV podcast. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV.com. You know what time it is, man? Uh, I just watched this Rum Nitty and Hollow face off. Um, Weird. At least, you know, the, the way it started out. You know, um, what I will say is this. First of all, um, going into the battle, I got Rum Nitty 3 0. <laughs> you feel me? If you're a Hollow fan and you, you know, my Hollow recaps get you angry, y'all should be used to this by now. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Hollow. You know, um, I, I think I missed the, the hype train, you know, when Hollow was going crazy on like um, Grind Time and all that back then. So, um, I didn't really get a chance to really develop, like, you know, a. Uh, uh, a certain type of appreciation for Hollow, you know. But going into this battle, man, Hollow been losing. Like I don't expect him to beat Rum Nitty. You feel me? He got smoked by Mav, lost to Danny. Like mm, I don't see it. You know, y'all y'all might think differently. But what I will say, right? I wasn't feeling what Hollow did in his face off, right? So uh, basically. He's painting the narrative of, you know, I guess him and Rum Nitty are cool. You know, they might kick it at events or whatever the case is. And uh, Hollow is on some like, yo, why you calling me out on Twitter? You could have challenged me to my face. Like, bro, what are you talking about? It's battle rap. When you're calling somebody out via battle rap, it's what you do. You go online and you make a tweet or Facebook post or do a blog. It's how you call somebody out in a rap battle. It has nothing to do with, oh, that's your mans and y'all chill and y'all might smoke at events or you might pick the nigga up from the airport or, you know, whatever kind of uh, rapport y'all might have. That has nothing to do with that. You understand? So I, I didn't like Hollow trying to paint that picture and in doing that, you're trying to make Rum Nitty look like a sucker. You understand? Like you're you're trying to paint that narrative of his character, and I see why Rum Nitty got out of line and you know started talking to him the way he was because it's like you 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 already taking it to some other extra shit. Like oh why you, you call me out on Twitter, but you didn't call me out face to face. Like almost trying to damn they paint somebody like they saw for something like that. You understand? So I just felt like that was weird, and then that just threw off like. The whole thing with the face off, you understand? Rum Nitty, he is who he is, so of course he's gonna have a certain type of energy when you a man. It's just certain stuff you're not gonna stand for. You understand that when somebody's trying to paint your character a certain way, and you know using um little words and certain terminology and stuff like that, it's like, yo, what do you, what are you really trying to do here? You understand? And I, I understood why Rum Nitty had that energy for Hollow, you know, when, when Hollow said all that. So, you know, um, but cool face off nonetheless. You know, you, you need moments like that to kinda um, you know, build the the animosity or whatever the case is. But I just feel like on a personal level, stuff like that makes you realize just how weird some people can be. Like what Hollow did out, that was weird to me. That was weird. That was even a weird way to try to approach it. Like, oh, you call me out online, but you, you, you call me out online, but you couldn't say it to my, like, what? That was, that was, that was weird. That was weird, you know, but stuff, stuff like that, I feel like is why I don't really, like, really uh, care too much for Hollow. Like, from a talent standpoint, he already, like, his content is just not for me. You understand, like. I'm always going to be unbiased when it comes to, you know, calling his battles. But his type of content, is he's just cool. And he was right. Rum Nitty was saying he was right. Hollow is good at everything. 
great at nothing. You understand? So um, I'll say great at being creative and taking unique approaches to battles. You know, but overall, when you start breaking down like the content and the lyrical ability and all that other stuff, it's like Hollow is really just kind of average. You understand? He's not, at least to me, never been nothing crazy. So, you know, um, I don't have him winning. I don't have him winning a round against Nitty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got Nitty taking all three of them things. You feel me? So I know some people going to feel differently. It is what it is, but we going to see. We going to see come... Um, I was about to say some of madness come super fight. You feel me? So let me know what y'all think in the comments and um don't curse me out too bad. But like I said, I got Rumnity taking this one dirty thirty. Hollow don't stand a chance, not getting around. So, you know, but I just thought that whole weird shit in the beginning with the fake trying to build tension and hollow trying to be a little bit extra is like, bruh. You might want to chill, you feel me? Especially if the person... I'd have never known Hollow to be on that type of tough guy time or anything like that. So I just would expect for him to just, like, show up to a face-off, talk your shit, and chill out. But when you try to, like, start painting somebody's character to be something else and all that other shit, it's just like, yo, Hollow, what are you doing? Just keep it right, bro. You feel me? So... Let me know what y'all think in the comments, and I'll holla at y'all soon. No mercy. Trap New York shit, no mercy, I'm out of here.